It's always a great feeling when you finally get the Platinum Trophy in a video game, and it's even more so when that game is quite hard and you've had to overcome some tough challenges along the way in order to get that 100%. And when you beat it on PS4, nowadays some games have a free upgrade to a PS5 version, allowing you to get the Platinum Trophy all over again. Games like Spider-Man and Destiny 2 also auto-pop all of the trophies, so if you've earned it on PS4 already, you'll get an instant Platinum as soon as you boot the game up. So, I quickly downloaded the PS5 version of Ghost Runner, hoping that the same would happen with this, and as I got to the title screen, it asked me if I wanted to import my PS4 save, and at this point I was very happy, because I figured this was going to be a nice, easy, 30 seconds to 1 minute auto-popping platinum that I would get all the trophies on the title screen. So, I quickly pressed the X button to say yes, import that PS4 save baby, here comes a nice shiny PS5 Platinum and what do you know the About Adam Silver Trophy popped up first while I was on the title screen and at this point I was quite excited because I knew more were on their way and I wasn't wrong because the gold junk winner trophy then popped. I was well shuffed because this game was hard but then as I sat there watching I realized no other trophies were popping. Surprise motherfucker. Yeah, that's right, the game just fucked me over and only unlocked two of the trophies in the entire game's trophy list. What a fucking joke, what was the point in importing my PS4 save, is that all you were going to give me from it? What a waste. So that meant I'd have to go through the entire game again, doing all those really awkward trophies and trying to take out all those bosses again. Oh my god. That other... Bullshit PlayStation Trophy. What's more bullshit is one of the trophies it unlocked was forgetting every single collectible in the game, and the other one was forgetting all the audio logs, but for some reason it didn't actually unlock the trophy for getting all the swords called a fine edition, which I definitely got on the PS4 on that save because I used a guide to find them all and grab every single sword to get the platinum. So why, if I've imported my PS4 save, do I not have that trophy? Surely, if it knows I've already got every single collectible, it would also give me that one? Ugh, I just never seemed to have any luck with trophies, and I was just assuming it was glitched and that it should have auto-popped every single one. So at this stage, I was just really pissed off. But I decided to just take a look in the options on the PS5 game, and when I went into the menu to look at all the sword collection, it said that there was now 32 instead of 15. So where the hell have all these come from? So I went to the internet to find answers and I found a three threads on PSN profiles saying that the trophies just auto popped two or three collectible trophies but not the sword one. So I figured something was wrong there. So I decided to look at the game on the PS store and I noticed there was a bunch of DLCs that you could buy which after looking at them to see what they included I discovered that there was in fact a load of other swords that you get from these PS5 packs. Oh my god. So maybe it was counting all of these DLC swords? No, god, please, no, no, no! So I was now faced with this dilemma pay £6.49 for these or just leave it. What's wrong with you, bro? And after having a little bit of a rage fit, I, well, I eventually brought them. Because I figured, I'm getting that platinum one way or the other. And yeah, I know. But hey, I can't help it. I'm addicted to these trophies. Stop it. Get some help. So, I booted up the game, hoping that with these swords, the trophy would just unlock straight away. But there was still nothing. Oh, God! Oh, God! Now, at this stage, I was really panicking. Because I just spent money on this for some swords that I didn't even want. So I just decided to just load a level, and thankfully, that popped the trophy. And at this point, I was just relieved and so happy. Even if I did pay £6.49 for that one single silver trophy for all the swords, it was still worth it because, well, it meant that I was on track to get the Platinum Trophy once more in Ghost Runner on PS5, and thanks to this version's uh, additional features such as the assist mode, I could make the experience even easier this time around by having extra lives, so I was soon about to get that Platinum Trophy. 
However, my happiness of finally unlocking the Ghost Runner PS5 Platinum was short-lived, as I was about to discover something that would just trigger me and make me very angry. So after posting this on PSN Profiles to explain how I got the Sword Trophy to pop by buying the DLC, I would later go on to read, over the next couple of days, several replies from other users who had got the Platinum Trophy and that Sword Trophy, and they didn't even have to buy the DLC! <laughs> I know! Oh my god! Oh hell no! Yep, that's right. You could just go on to wave mode, beat all 20 waves, and unlock the sword book. There it is there. It tells you right there. So I paid £6.49 for this silver fucking trophy, when I didn't even need to. Fuck this game.